Hello there, my name is Sine Naylor and I'd like to welcome you to this supplemental video. We're discussing using the internet as your personal warm market and I mentioned in that article that register.com has a service that will allow you to find alternates if you can't find the domain name you're looking for. I always start my search at register.com for this very reason. Um, now if I do find one that I like, I will probably go over to GoDaddy or one of the other less expensive um, domain registration services uh, to actually buy it. Uh, although I do have a few accounts here on register.com. Okay, the service that I'm going to be showing you today is under domains. It's called the Advanced Domain Search. Um, if you have a unique domain that you're looking for and you feel like it might not be taken, you can go ahead and put it in here and do a search. Uh, but I like to use this advanced domain search because it asks for more information and it gives me back a lot more options. Okay, first thing they want to know is what website you'd like to have or what domain name you'd like to have. So I'm going to click in here and tell them I would like DIYleads.com. Uh, my first name, my last name, and my email address. Now I will tell you, uh, again this is experience speaking, if I don't want to use my name in the domain, I can also use these additional fields as other words that I might like to include in the website. Uh, I'll show you that in just a moment. But for now let's click on business and let it ask us its additional questions. Okay, what's the name of my company? Well, if I'm branding myself, I, I might want to include my name, um, but like we talked about in the article, I do want my domain name to be specific to what I'm trying to do. I want it to make sense. So, uh, my company is Do-It-Yourself Leads. My product is Leads or Prospects. My location, well, I'm in Rim Country, but I also know like using the name, the first name and last name, to help it come up with additional uh, suggestions, I know that using my location will do the same thing. So I'm going to borrow one of my location fields to give it another alternative. I'm going to ask it to find my names and see what it comes up with. Okay, I can see right off the bat it's got a couple of pretty good ones. Do-it-yourself-leads would be a good possibility. Uh, my DIY Leads is another possibility. DIY, Le DIY Leads Inc. another good possibility. The Do-It-Yourself Leads, yeah that's a good possibility. So as you can see it's come up with quite a few alternatives. Now remember I told you earlier that I could I could choose to use my namespace, my first and last name, uh, to give it alternatives. So I might even have, have been able to put prospects or uh, lead gen or some other words that I've used my thesaurus to tell me might be good alternates and it would try to incorporate them here in the list as you can see like it did with my name okay so that's basically it um, I, I mentioned also in the article that you might want to grab a thesaurus uh, just to help you come up with alternatives but register.com's advanced search goes a long way to giving you some ideas and what I would do is write down those that appeal to you um, just jot them down on a piece of paper while you keep searching uh, when you have found five or six that you really like um, test them you know ask your friends ask your family uh, search on the net to see what other people are doing and is it similar and you know are they successful um, Everything you're going to be learning in this course is backed up by testing and tracking. I mean, you'll hear me talk about that over and over. You may think something is going to be highly, wildly successful, only to have the marketplace tell you it, it was a total failure. So you can assume all you want, but if you test it and you track it, you'll have absolute proof positive what works and what doesn't. Okay, that concludes this short supplemental video. Uh, check back in as we continue um, the series using the Internet as your personal warm market. I look forward to hearing from you. Please feel free to leave me some feedback if, you've, if you have any questions or want to know something that we're not covering. Um, okay, until then, this is Sine Naylor signing off.